Loving you gave me something new that I never felt, never dreamed of. Something's changed, oh, it's not the feeling I had before. Oh, it's much, much more love. I never knew that a touch mm -hmm, could mean, mean so much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What a difference And when we walk hand in hand I better stop because uh, I don't want to get this video flagged Good morning, good afternoon, good evening family Welcome to the Mental House with me, your illustrious host Khadija Alright y'all, I'm going to do a little housekeeping Um, Remember and to, if you want to contact me, send me videos that you deem um, definitely I should post on the mental house or discuss on the mental house. Please send them to me at mentalhousetv at gmail.com. That's mentalhousetv at gmail.com. And I'll be glad to do the story. Second of all, because you know it's a lot of crazy stuff going on. And I'm sure it ain't too hard to find something crazy to send to me. Second of all, I like to um, uh, uh, give a shout out to those of you who have donated to the channel. I appreciate it very much. We want to keep this campaign going um, so I can <coughs> present a better format, a higher quality, and to bring you guys a little better work. Hopefully, we'll get uh, our goal set. Um, and, uh, I think, I think it's, I think it's by March. I think there's a goal also for you all that, um, uh, are interested. There is also a membership. And of course, with this membership comes some perks now, right? So, uh, in your, um, thought process, make sure you, uh, consider donating and becoming a member of the channel. And let's uh, gas this stuff up some more and hype it up some more and uh, see if I can pick up some more subscribers. So do a favor for me, y'all. Um, pass, share the video. Uh, and if you have any suggestions that you think I should do on the channel, I'm looking forward to it. Okay? So now with that being said, also you can uh, donate to Cash App. That's the dollar sign, Khadija59. That's dollar sign, Khadija59. Uh, or PayPal me, uh, Khadija Anwar. I think that's what it is. Yeah, PayPal me, Khadija Anwar. All those th uh, methods will work. And you can also, also write me again at the Mental House TV at gmail.com well you guys you know I want I took a minute before um, I, I, I did this story um, because you know I didn't know any details and so far there isn't any so for those of y'all who don't know um, Bob Sagan 65 um, he, you know he just returned off the of stage and um, they found him dead in his hotel room. It's always stories like that that, you know, just really baffle me. And uh, I guess baffle all of us, right? He wasn't sick. He um, just got done doing a show at the Ritz-Carlton in Orlando uh, at 4 p.m. on Sunday. Um, and is when he was found. Wow. The cause of his death remains unknown. Police said there were no obvious signs of foul play or drug use. But a toxicology report is yet to be carried out. He was found hours after posting jubilee about returning to the stage. 
how he was loving being back in the limelight after a show at the Ponte Vera, uh, Vedra, I'm sorry, concert hall in Jacksonville on Saturday night. Okay, I love tonight's show in Jacksonville. Really nice audience. Lots of positivity. Happened last night in Orlando. Um, uh, last night at the Hard Rock Live, too. Very appreciative and fun audiences. Thanks again to at comedian Wilk, M. Wilkins for opening. I had no idea I did a two-hour set tonight. I'm back in comedy like I was when I was 26. I guess I'm finding my new voice and loving every minute of it. Hmm. What a positive um, outlook to end up having uh, such a tragedy happen um, to him. Uh, but again, um, Bob Saget is gone. And um, a lot of people were like, you know, what happened to him? So you don't know. Um, now, with that, the next, the next there, uh, the next story, I, I, I that kind of got me over the weekend. Well, it didn't get me, but I was, I didn't know they were such good friends, and. Um, I, um, that was, that was, who was that? Uh, Suzanne Summers. She's not having, she's, she's taking it kind of hard about Bob Saget. And then this is the story I'm talking about. Sinead O'Connor reveals that her son, Shane, 17, had planned his funeral a month before taking his own life after escaping Irish hospital while on suicide watch. Wow. So he had a lot of depression with him, and um, his mom carried a lot of depression. And so, um, you know, it's these things that make you want to shout out to people that you know sometimes all of us um, are weak, sometimes emotionally, and it's good to check on people. Let them know that you love them. I know that um, it's very important when you're dealing with um, us or people that suffer from a severe depression, that you let them know that you love them. And all you can do is um, let them know that you're here for them. And no matter what, if you make mistakes, I forgive you. I make mistakes, forgive me. Uh, but don't take your life. And, and sometimes they need to hear that. Because to, to find your own child who has taken his life has got to be one of the most... Damn, it's got to be one of the most saddest things. So she took to social media yesterday to rail against CAHMS, and that's the Child and Family Agency, Tulsa, and the Irish State for failing Shane. Shane took his life by hanging himself after he went missing from a hospital last week. The heartbroken mother, 55, pictured uh, with her son, confirmed Saturday that it was a beautiful, uh, that her beautiful son Shane, who was described as the light of her life, had decided to end the family struggle, his earthly struggle. But O'Connell last night went on a Twitter tirade in which she promised Tulsa a storm coming and said the only contact she had received from the agency was from the media office trying to avoid the negative publicity. Wow. Wow. Uh, you know, it's very hard, it's, it's, it's very hard felt that um, as a mother, you know, when you have a, a, a child who's, who's missing from the fold, who's you know, locked up or in some kind of crisis. But when they actually kill themselves and actually plan their death a month before taking their life, my heart go out to them. My heart goes out to this family. 
uh, her child was discharged from a child and adolescent mental health service. And he wasn't ready. Uh, he wasn't ready. And I'm so sorry for Sinead. Um, I like Sinead O'Connor. Um, and she was a, is, is, and was a true artist. And artists feel things so much. And so much more than other people sometimes. Um, and that's why it's so hard to get them to compromise. But with that being said, my condolences go out to Sinead, this the family, and to Sinead O'Connor uh, about the death of Shane and also to uh, Bob Saget's family regarding the death of Bob. Uh, may God bless y'all and um, may he keep you. May he keep you. Right. With that being said, um, y'all leave y'all comments below. Tell me if you got any uh, feelings one way or the other about Bob Saget or uh, Sinead O'Connor because they both um, were a big integral part, I think, of the 80s. And um, for those of y'all who lived in the 80s, y'all know who they are and what they represented. Okay, I'll see y'all in the next video.